Hey there, I'm Ed. Hi, I'm Louis. Hello, I'm Vladimir. Hello, I'm Mark. And I'm Ed. And we're from the Fairfield County Makers Guild. We're a makerspace here in Norwalk, Connecticut. Uh, we have a great community here of uh, tinkers, inventors, artists who come together to work on some very cool projects. And we'd like to uh, show you what we've been doing with the Chill Hub. So when I heard about the Crate Hack competition from First Build, I thought this is the perfect makerspace to compete against all the other makerspaces in the world. One of the things that I do here at the Makerspace is teach kids how to program and build cool stuff. The first microprocessors were designed to power washing machines. So I always make sure to tell them, have you thanked a major appliance today? Give a high five to your fridge. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with your refrigerator. You can cool stuff, you can freeze stuff, but if you have a refrigerator that has a computer in it, now you're talking, you can communicate. So our first challenge was to come up with something that you can only do with a refrigerator that has a computer inside. And after some brainstorming, we came up with a project of Hello Jello, which is a refrigerator that sends you a text message as soon as your Jello is ready to eat. But how do you detect when Jello is finished? Stop. Well, clearly, this isn't working. Go! Shut the down! Shut the down, Lily! Nice! There are lots of ways to detect when jello is finished. You could use temperature, you could use surface tension, but one of the challenges is to come up with the simplest way to detect when jello is finished. So for that, what we settled on was a tilt table, a rocking mechanism. So mechanically speaking, if you have a bowl such as this filled with a liquid and you rest it on a level surface, well, both sides are holding half of the weight. But if you take that same bowl and you tip it, then the weight shifts to one side or another. And we can use the Milky Way to detect that change in weight. Once the Jello has set up, once it has coagulated, then tipping doesn't change the weight distribution. So what we have here is the bowl sitting half on the Milky Way, half on the rocking table. And again, as mentioned, when it tips up, the Milky Way is going to see more weight and we'll know that the jello has not finished yet. Uh, in this case, a little more math behind it. We selected a bowl that has uh, a weight of a single gallon of milk or water. And so when it tips up, 
we're actually going to see at least a one pound change on the scale and the sensitivity of the Milky Way can easily handle a one pound difference. To control the motor, we're going to use an H-bridge circuit, like this one. Using the Raspberry Pi and Node.js, we're able to communicate with the device. We also send out text messages to let you know when your jello is done. I was actually